This lesson will be discussing particle size analysis, particle in industry, and safety aspect related to particles. In many industrial operations involving powders, particle size and distribution play an important role in determining the bulk properties of the powder. In fact, powders with particles in a range of sizes, more than one dimension, and with different shapes. Powder with regular shaped particles the sizes are comparatively more easily to be determined than the powder with irregular shaped particles. It is difficult to define the geometrical quantities for an irregular shaped particles. Hence, different approaches are adopted to determine the irregular shaped particles, including equivalent circle diameter, Martin's diameter, Ferret's diameter, and shear diameter. Let's consider a single and simple example where powders consisted of cuboid shaped particles. The equivalent surface sphere diameter, equivalent volume sphere diameter, equivalent surface volume sphere diameter of the cuboid shaped particles can be determined from comparison with a spherical particle. One of the common examples in particle size estimation is through a sieve. Besides, microscopy, sedimentation, permimetry, electron sensing, and laser diffraction are few other methods used in measuring particle size. Laser diffraction is one of the most commonly methods used in industry. The particle properties including particle size are crucial in powder handling and processing operations. In a solid liquid separation process, the particles are being separated from the feed slurry and suspension through continuous gravity settling in a thickener. Taken solids can be collected and removed as an underflow where the clear liquid comes out as an overflow product, ideally. Besides, solid particles fill in a pack bed column as a packing material to enhance the contact surface area of the fluid in air pollution control system. Scrubber is one of the examples. On the other hand, solid catalyst is fluidized and suspended in fluidized bed reactor to catalyze multi-phase chemical reactions effectively. Besides, particulate can be removed from a gas stream using a gas cyclone. Gas cyclone is commonly used in fluid catalytic cracking, where zeolite catalyst is removed from the gas stream at the outlet and returned to the process to minimize the loss of catalyst. Screener including stationary screens, vibrating screens, centrifugal shifter are often located at the discharge point to perform screening of particles according to different sizes. Particle size can be manipulated based on the needs and requirement of the industry process through comminution and granulation. Comminution is a process on particle size reduction in contrast particle size enlargement can be done via granulation process. Fine particles could be harmful and bring negative impact to human and environment. According to the hierarchy of control measures, elimination is the most effective method where the hazard is removed physically. Else, hazard can be replaced and substituted with another option. People can be isolated from the hazard through engineering control approach including containment and ventilation. Administration control comes in to change the way of people work. For example, reduce the exposure time of workers to the hazard with a shortened shift work. Lastly, worker may need to equip with a proper personal protective equipment for protection in workplace. In this lesson, particle size analysis, particle in industry, and safety aspects related to particles have been discussed. Thank you for listening.